Okay, ba what? Bear attacked the claim and broke the cable. What? <laughs> okay. The bell. I didn't expect that. Huh. Oh, this makes me want to throw up. I have so much work to do. Seriously, you're supposed to put away everything? What is going on, guys? Dre here, and welcome back to the very freezing cold Haynes, Alaska. Negative 25 degrees out right now, and as you can see, one day till permafrost is indeed here. Now, good news! In the last five days of me just grinding away, I have finally paid off the loan, just as you can see. We got 23 grand in the bank right now. Uh, but that's a big issue off my back. I now only pay three grand a day, and that's just because of the bulldozer, and we're gonna get rid of that today because I was actually going to uh, go to midday just to brighten it up a little bit. Uh, but it actually says winter is coming now. Hide your equipment into the shed or storage space and get to the, I think I said hotel. Now the hotel, I've never actually slept that in this game, I don't think. So I'm kind of excited to figure out how that works. Uh, but yeah, today it's time to put all our equipment away, prep, and uh, get to the hotel so we don't actually freeze to death. Fun fact, there is actually sickness in this game. Uh, some of my employees are actually sick right now, and I don't think they're even working. So uh, yeah, that happened as well. Now, as we usually do, I actually did prepare another uh, washout here, so we did have enough to get one more done, and uh, we should have a little bit of money in the bank with this, so that's obviously great. Uh, so hopefully we can start out the summertime in this game strong. So let's do a quick washout here, and then we have a lot of equipment moving to do, because I think if we leave it out, it's probably going to destroy it, basically, and we have to repair pretty much everything. And I don't really want to be a full episode of me repairing things. Now, we have been getting really good pulls out of the ground. I, I'm surprised with the dirt. I'm still focused on that one area, the giant area that we uh, decided, decided to go to. Uh, but yeah, it's been getting better and better in terms of gold. So we're really going to try and mine out that area, especially in the summertime when we don't have to worry about this damn frozen ground. I got to say, don't get me wrong, I'm glad that it's in the game. You know, weather is a giant thing, especially in Alaska. But it does get annoying dealing with it. Uh, so I'm excited to move on to summertime again and not have to worry so much about Mother Nature totally destroying it. All right, so the final washout of the season. Can it be the best one yet? I think our best was like 16 to 1800, uh, if I do remember correctly. So if we can get somewhere near that, that would be amazing. Well, it's looking like it's going to be a, a decent payout, just judging by the first bucket. That was a duplex jig bucket, obviously, and 102. Uh, a good indicator is like 112 to 116, so I don't think it's going to be our best payday, but it still should be somewhat decent. All right, here's our first real bucket. I mean, I don't really consider the duplex jigs much. What was this one? 700 grams. So I'm assuming that was the top cleanout, and oh, actually, this was zero magnetite too, so this should be a good bucket as well. Uh, still, 700 is very, very decent. I don't think we're going to get 1,800 grams worth of gold, though. It's going to be close. Uh, already sitting 21%. It's not going up as much as I was hoping. It seems to be slowing down a bit at 1,200. We still got one bucket. Pretty sure this is a duplex jig bucket, though. I don't know if we did three or four. 290 Gs in there. So, yeah, it's looking like maybe a 1,400 clean out. I don't think is this upping... Uh, it's hard to tell if it's upping the magnetite because there's so little in it. Yeah, it is upping the magnetite, so I think that's another duplex jig. Uh, so yeah, unfortunately not the best payday, but still, you can't complain when you're getting over a thousand grams of gold for one cleanout. I mean, this is still a lot of money. All right, but let's see the final actual amount. Are we going to get the 1,400? Of course we're not. We're almost there, but yeah, we got 102 grams at the end there. All right, so there is our final cleanout of the first season in Gold Rush. Uh, I gotta say, it was a pretty great season. We literally had one day left. If we wouldn't have paid off that loan, I don't know what would have happened. We would have been majorly in the red. So I'm so glad that worked out. And I couldn't have got, got it closer than that. We're sitting at 23 grand in the bank. We just paid off that loan. Uh, within time so thank god we didn't have any other major breakdowns or anything it's actually been a pretty stable few uh days i do have a pretty broken excavator over here i'll just show you quickly what we did oh actually actually i filled that dump truck as well so i guess we'll just keep it filled for the next year 
But yeah, we uh, I've been focusing on that one zone that we had, and I just went all the way down into this zone over here. There's some really good pockets in this zone, so I've been opening up that a bit too. Uh, and yeah, we basically have a giant crater all the way through our mine site now, kind of following that giant vein that was in there. So uh, we'll kind of expand out on this. There's still some gold on the sides. What I actually want to do, and hopefully we set it up today, is uh, actually start mining from the bottom uh, and I'll show you how we're gonna do that later. But for right now, again, it's winter prep time, so we gotta move everything in. And uh, I'm not even gonna fix any of this stuff because it's probably gonna break down anyways. And I do have, I think I got one tooth on my excavator right now. I just gave up. Oh, this is a this is a spare tooth. This one's actually a good one. Uh, but I think I got only one. It doesn't actually show. The mechanic's working on it, so he must have fixed my tooths. Uh, the, he actually can do that, by the way. If it is at 0% and the mechanic's working on it, it does slowly fix them. It looks like we only have two broken teeth now. I did have almost all of them broken. All right, so to save time, I mean, I don't think it matters if we manually pull these things back or not. We're just going to restore everything. Uh, it just makes my life way easier, and we're going to fit as much as we can in the... Uh, it said to put them in the shed. I'm not going to be able to put, like, the excavator there. Where do we put the big stuff? I mean, I don't even know if it's worth it if we gotta disassemble everything. I might just take the uh, mechanic paycheck because uh, that thing takes hours to set up. Winter's coming, hide the equipment in the shed or storage space and get to the hotel. So I guess technically this whole area is the storage space. Uh, so we'll just kind of keep some of the big equipment there. We'll put everything we can in the shed, uh, but there's not gonna be able to fit much in there in terms of the big equipment. Oh, you know what it means? It probably means by storage area, I wonder if it wants me to send all the stuff back to the actual uh, shop garage because uh, we have like uh, the front end loader there for example I'm gonna try and fit this thing in here. I, this is gonna be dangerous uh, But yeah, I think it wants me to ship it back screw that that's like ten, ten grand each each item Oh my god, is this gonna fit? Please tell me if we can fit this in here. I'm I'm golden Oh, I don't know if we're gonna be able to get this thing out. We made it Got the dump truck in here as well, as you can see, so we're just gonna squish everything we can in. Sorry, sorry about the, uh, thank god the thing didn't explode. Uh, gas tanks in here as well. Alright, well I didn't expect to fit the big things in, so at least we got that going for us. As long as those things don't break down, I really don't care about the small stuff. Uh, we're gonna get rid of the bulldozer as well. Uh, like I said, I'm not gonna use it unless it's winter time. There is methods to use this thing to actually extract dirt, but there's methods to use the front end loader instead of it. So I don't know what we do with this. I just have to pay three grand a day when it's here. So I'm assuming we put it on this and maybe I can sell it for zero bucks and I'm done renting it. Well, it was fun, Bulldozer. You actually did save the day after all. But I gotta say, I'm not gonna miss you until next year when we need you again. Okay, what else? I mean, water tank, I'd have to disassemble it. Do I want to take the risk? Yes, I do. Um, so I think this is it. I think we're just going to take the risk of Mother Nature destroying the rest of this stuff. I really hope we don't have to take all this apart. I'm taking a big risk here. Wow, we got 27% in there. There's a weird glitch with the top part. Sometimes this just randomly gets some stuff in it. I'm not complaining. It's free gold, but I don't know why that happens. This is it for me, I guess. We're going to uh, get the hell out of here now and uh, head to the hotel and have a nice uh, winter's rest, I guess. I guess we're like a bear because, like, you're just going to chill in a hotel for, like, three months, I guess. I don't know. All right. Hopefully these guys are still open buying magnetite because uh, I don't know where else I'm going to sell it. I'm assuming they are. Now, the big question is, do we have enough for the next upgrade or am I going to be really depressed? Probably the latter. I mean, we really, I think we got, like, 13% in this or something like that. Not too much, but uh, it's hard to get magnetite in this damn game. So how do I do this? All right, there we go. Yeah, there you go. There's your black gold. That's it. That's up. God damn it. Don't blink, I guess. Hey! Okay, that was a lot more than I expected. I think we need like 80 grand for an upgrade. Man, it goes quick, but we're at 200 grand. Or two, 200 grams, rather. 200,000 grams. I, I, I can't talk today. I'm sorry, guys. That's a good sign. We might even get two blacksmith upgrades. I should have did that way earlier. You just, you see that it's like 5% filled and you're like, it's not even worth taking. But clearly it is, because Magnetite in this game, it's deceptive, man. All right, so I'm not even gonna blacksmith my gold. We'll do it next season. I don't need the money right now anyways, unless the hotel's really expensive. Let's hope it isn't. So I don't exactly remember where it is. I know it's down this road somewhere, so we should be able to see it quite easily. I mean, it's a giant hotel. There's not much else down here. Oh, yeah, that's right. Road's closed, so you got to go off-roading to the hotel. That's not weird, right? 
You probably don't get too many customers here if this is how you have to get to it, man. Then again, what other choice do we have? If you need a hotel, it's the only way you can go, I guess. All right, so there it is, the beautiful hotel. Let's pull in and, uh, well, bunker down for a couple months, kind of hang out. Looks like there's some other gold miners here hanging out with us. Welcome to the Haynes Hotel. You can spend a whole winter here and get back out to work at the beginning of spring. You won't be able to dig for gold anyways. Cheers. All right. Man, this is a hard button to press. It's been a great season, but uh, it's time to do a new one. End that season, and bam, just like that, we slept like a baby. We were totally fine. Somebody wants to work for me? Great. Uh, whoa! All right, there's all of our uh, stats here, so that's pretty cool. That's a lot of pay dirt, man, and a lot of gold as well, so uh, yeah, that feels pretty good. All right, here we are, season two, here we come. Ah, oh, that's such a great feeling when there's nothing there. At least I don't have to pay anything. We still got 22 grand in the bank. That's a cheap hotel, man. Stay there for three months, you don't gotta pay a damn thing. All right, let's get out and see what things got destroyed. That's gonna be fun. Obviously, first though, we'll pay a visit to our favorite blacksmith, get some upgrades, and uh, hopefully have enough money to maybe get another upgrade today. I doubt it, but uh, I do wanna get mining as quickly as possible. It's still negative seven out, so we might have some temperature issues for the first few uh, days. And you can get some serious speed coming this way. Jesus, going down that hill. That's all this little puppy needs to get up some serious speed. Can we get some air? That's the question. Here we go. Woo! Oh, God, Jesus. <laughs> okay, let's not do that anymore. You know what? I should really buy fast travel. That'd be smart. It's been, like, how many episodes that I, that I say I wanted to get that, and I still haven't? Uh, who cares anymore? All right, we're going to upgrade. Smelting time reduced. That doesn't really matter. I can just sit here and uh, twiddle my fingers. Smelting cost reduced. That actually might help. It's not that cheap to actually uh, get this guy to smelt for me. And smelting amount increased. Again, that just comes down to time. So I think we should go for the smelting cost reduced. I don't know what's a better option. That's only going to take 3,500 grams, though. Now, how much is the next one? 70,000 as compared to 150,000. I still think we should buy this, the average pyrometer. Just because gold losses are a pretty big thing, let's actually just check how much gold loss we get, because I don't actually remember. So we get 28 grams of gold loss for every 567 grams of gold. That's a lot. I mean, it adds up over time. All right, we still got 33 grams, 33,000 grams worth of gold. Is there anything else? We almost have enough for another upgrade, but hey, we'll just have to get that later. So let's see now how much losses we're getting. So we, so we saved about 10 grams worth of loss. That's pretty good. Obviously, if we do it once more, that'd be amazing. So let's smelt this stuff, sell this stuff, get out to our claim site, and get digging, man. Okay, ba what? Bear attacked the claim and broke the cable. What? <laughs> okay. The the I didn't expect that. Of all things, a bear decided to just say, screw you to a cable? What else happened? Okay, that's nothing else. Let's just tell me to release the handbrake. Huh. Oh, this makes me want to throw up. I have so much work to do. Seriously? You're supposed to put away everything? Oh, Jesus. Even even this is... Oh, that's the, uh, that's the bear attack. Okay. Okay, well... um, The question is, how many things are broken? I might have to get a loan to pay all this crap. I, I can't believe that. I, I should have assumed. I mean, it's a simulation game. And when it is winter in the actual show... They go away as well. Oh my god, we have to fix every- is it everything? Please don't tell me it's everything. Oh, it's the- they're all red. Oh no. Oh, uh, is it everyone? Oh, it's, sorry, I'm like overwhelmed right now. Okay, it's not everything as you can see. Some things survived. I wonder if I could just like sit here for a couple of years and let the mechanics slowly repair everything. Oh my god. Well, this might be an episode of repairs. At least we get to see how a lot of things are repaired. Um, I'm trying to stay positive here because I'm worried that we're not even gonna have enough money to do this We're gonna have to get a loan to pay to fix everything and then we're back at square one the issue we had before so I don't know how I'm gonna do this because I have so many things that are broken I'm not gonna be able to remember everything so maybe we should do one piece of equipment at the time at a time Let's start off with the generator. I guess so we got uh, this cable obviously here that we need to fix or just we'll get rid of it I mean, the thing is, I wouldn't have had time to put everything away anyways. We were having a day left. So, I mean, I, I screwed up to begin with. We should have been preparing for winter probably at the start of winter. That's the kind of the point. But hey, idiot here decided to get a giant loan and um, 
yeah, instead we focused on that. So, paid off the loan, now we just gotta repair freaking everything. Well, I'm trying to find the uh, positives of this. The one thing is, pretty much everything on every piece of my machinery was ready to break anyways. I mean, it's all starting to age, so... We really didn't waste too much durability because they were all going to break very, very soon. And that's the only positivity I can think about this, but hey, at least we got that going for us. I'm just seeing how many things are broken. I'm getting overwhelmed. I don't know if we'll be able to do everything today. I'm stuck in a damn pole. There's not to be time to stick myself in a pole. Thank you. Okay, it actually listened. That's all you gotta do is yell. What? My truck just broke down? Oh, Jesus. Jiminy Cricket. Come on, man. This is, this is the only piece of machinery that needs to be working right now. Thank God I prepared for this because I knew the tire was going to blow. I already have one prepared in the back. Can't trick me this year. I'm, I'm, I'm prepared this year. Last year was a little bit of a screw up. Not going to let that happen for the second time. Oh, Jesus. Okay, I blew the bags off. Not surprised by that. Break these. Oh, man, we're going to have so <laughs> <laughs> oh, he, all you can do is laugh, man. I mean, I made a pretty big mistake here, but I couldn't have fixed it even if I tried. So all I can do is just laugh about it and appreciate the amount of breakdowns you can have in this game. So what the hell broke over here? What is this thing? Oh, yeah, that's right. I got to write all this stuff down. Jesus. Okay, now it's time to cry. So we did the duplex jigs already. I'm literally taking this thing to carry all the broken parts and my sadness with me. Um... I guess, yeah, let's just start... No, you know what? Let's go to flat ground. I hate dealing with this hill. So I'm gonna go up here. Let's go see what broke on this. Oh, God. I know a lot of the buckets broke. I can only imagine how expensive those things are. Um, Actually, okay, we got a belt. I mean, belts are no big deal. They're cheap, I hope. <laughs> okay, this one I'm scared of because I saw we got a lot of buckets here. Actually, maybe it's only... Let's actually part analyze this, because I'm curious. How, how are you doing, buddy? Maybe only certain ones break? I'm thinking they put a limit on how many break. Because it looks like it's two total. So this ain't as bad as I thought, actually. Oh, three. I just found another one. Anything broken up here before I miss it? Any of the grates broken? Oh, another bucket's broken. Hey, would you look at that? All right, we'll add a fourth one to my uh, list now. Come on, just give me... See, if I could buy, buy a ladder, like, just buy a freaking ladder already, would you? There's no way. How the freak? Ah, now I'm stuck! Oh, that was a dumb idea. Okay. Oh, just shot me out. Thanks. Okay, the damn... <laughs> the back of my dump truck just cracks me up at this point. God, it looks like a glitch in a game or something. I think we got everything... I don't know. It's easy to miss some pieces, so I'll take a quick scavenge here, see if we can find anything else. Uh, I'm not seeing any red zones. Did you guys break it all? You guys are MVP, man. You didn't break at all. I don't think we broke anything besides of the bear attack on this. Let me actually go in. You know, actually, I didn't check inside. Good point. Whoa, some the bear try and get in here? It's a good thing he didn't actually get inside. All right. Well, I think we got them all, guys. Look at the... <laughs> oh, man. Look at the amount of parts over here. It's so depressing. Okay, get this thing out of the way. Let's see the damage. Because this is going to give us a good indicator on how much money we're going to have to spend. I actually don't think it was too bad. We didn't lose any major engines. It's all small parts. And actually, look at that. 2,600. So I think it's not going to be so much of a money issue. Oh, no. We missed two teeth. We'll let those stay there for the rest of their lives. Uh, I don't think it's going to be so much of a money issue, but it's a huge time sink. I've already done a full day. Decided to sleep till morning time because we don't need to rush anymore. Uh, we don't have a giant loan to pay, so it's kind of nice. Uh, but yeah, now it's time to install all those parts and buy uh, a few thousand items. This should be fun to hopefully find everything in here. Woo, not happy about those rollers, man. It's a little piece of metal. Why? I mean, I'm, I was doing, I was happy so far. We only spent five grand and we've actually bought a, quite a few items. Um, well, we're going to need a lot of money for that. Let's check out this first because that's going to take up the rest of that. Um, and order. Okay, there's our first big purchase. We're just going to, uh, I guess, try and pull all this stuff off. And we'll try and organize it. I think I'll just throw it in the back of the truck and slowly install things. I mean, I, I don't know if there's an easy way to install a million things all at once. Alright, but there's a bunch of small parts. Yeah, you know what? I think I'll just do them as I get them, because I know where the majority of the pieces go. 
This is probably the best way because it'd be possible to organize everything into each piece of equipment. So this should be pretty easy. I mean, a lot of these things are very quick in installs too. Woo, man, the duplex jig might be one of the worst. Thousand bucks each pump. Electric engines aren't cheap either. Again, we're not gonna go for the reinforced right now. We just don't have the money to do so. Um, but yeah, I figured we'd get this done as we get the trommel done because I'm just gonna bring everything over by truck. God damn those electric engines though. Those little damn things are worth that much. I don't believe it, man. I think you're ripping me off. Why did I just pull that out? I want it in. Get in there. What are you doing, you little jerk? All right, there's that done. So once we get the engines in here, these should be fixed. Where are the engines at? There they are, those expensive damn things. All right, engine, install. Is that it? Is it fixed? Aha! It is. Okay, so I don't think I need to screw those in. Hopefully not. I feel like you need to attach an engine a little bit more than just, you know, slap her on and you're good, but hey. I'm not going to question it. All right, just put that one in there, and bam. Duplex jigs are fixed. Look at that. I'm seeing less and less red already. All right, I'm thinking this is our final part order for five grand. That was a lot of parts, too. So thankfully, the small stuff was extremely cheap. I'm a happy camper right now. I got to say, I came here thinking this was going to be the end of the world. But once again, gold mining just speaks to me, and... Uh, we got a lot of small parts here that we have to attach, but uh, I think that should be everything, and we should see no more breakage, thank God. All right, so let's go fix the giant pump first. Uh, what else do we need with that? The hose. Is this it? Big water pump? Pipe? Big water? Is that what we need? Big water pump? Yeah, that's what we need. Okay, I'm not crazy. All right, broken image be gone! Uh, anything to do with that? No, that's already... Wait, is that... Did I... I did have to unscrew that, didn't I? See, that's what I'm worried about. If I'm gonna forget a screw or something, is it screwed in? Yes, okay, it's hard to remember. Uh, but I don't know if I can like easily blow things if I don't screw them in, so we gotta make sure that side's done. Don't know, yeah, we had to do the other side as well. All right, whew. All right, the old rotator hydraulic. That's what we needed for this. That's officially done. Um, I think we just pulled that off, right? Yeah, so that one's done. Oh, we're down to just gold extraction now. Uh, I even bought some generator parts and everything, so this should be pretty easy to get done. Shouldn't take me too long at all to fix all this stuff, because all it is is a couple screws, and we're good to go. Okay, is that everything? No, we still got something to do over there. Did I forget a piece? I've been pretty good so far. My track record for remembering everything is going real well. Wait, what? I swear I saw, oh yeah, generator. We gotta do this little doohickey here. Um, I haven't figured out how to pull this thing off, so that's kind of why I haven't pulled this off. I see, yeah, you can unscrew. So let's just hold that for a bit. There we go, and unscrew again. That should be good, right? No big deal. Let's just throw this little guy over here. Now let's just do a quick running test, make sure everything is in ship shape, ready to go. I'm thinking it's all looking good. It's moving. The beast is back in action. Let me make sure. Conveyor belt, you okay up here? You're working? Don't got any broken buckets or anything? Whew. Now, let me actually see. Is the water also still broken? Because if, if that's the case, I'm just going to stick with the water tower here. Uh, the water doesn't seem to like to go down. And, yeah, we're still connected to the water. It's going through the out. And for some reason, the water's broken in this game. Not complaining, so we'll definitely try and fill that up just in case throughout the year. But at least we always now have a source of water. And that's just due to a glitch. So thanks, glitch. I appreciate that. All right. Well, I was hoping to get to uh, do some mining today. But obviously, with all the repairs and everything, I think this is a good time to wrap up this one here. Uh, now, this season, we're going to do some more advanced techniques. I'm excited. Uh, I want to actually, like, see if we can do pretty much this whole plot of land. I think we can if we can get this set up right. So, uh, that's probably what we'll try and do. Obviously, if we get enough money, though, I do want to go to better ground as well. But we'll probably upgrade everything before we do that. Maybe we'll go to one more claim. I have no idea. But, yeah, doing lots of digging, getting lots of gold. And now we are debtless, guys. We can focus on getting money, and Frankenstein's our next big purchase. So... That should hopefully be coming in the next one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and liking, guys. And I'll see you in the next one.